Hi, Shalom. Uh, first and foremost, I want to give all praise and honor to the Lord, to the Lord, to the Lord, to the to the apostles and the elders of greatness, and the peace of the elect, the 144,000, and Shalom to the one third, man, you know. All the items that are doing this work are sincere in truth, you know, keep enduring until the end, and Yahweh Shai will give us the crown of life, man. Okay, now I just want to do a very quick video, you know, to prove, you know, that Yahweh Shai, you know, um, was born, uh, you know, through, um, you know, um, a Joseph and Mary having sex. Okay, because uh, recently I was just watching the brothers out there in England, you know, and, and they were just going back and forth with another bug out, you know, out there in the house in the byways, and, you know, like a church boy, you know, and basically, you know what, he basically tried to do everything, you know, to prove that the Lord, you know, um, you know, was basically born, you know, through the um, Immaculate Conception, man, okay, which is totally off, you know, it's not of the scriptures, okay, and, uh, you know, and the guy, you know, he basically, you know, like just like every other bug out there, they can't actually prove it. They just talk because they just regurgitate what they've heard from someone else. And, you know, especially from these churches, okay? But, uh, you know what, um, and and the brothers out there, you know, they actually, you know, they brought the scripture up. But, you know, like I just want to go a little bit more into it, you know, and to just, you know, basically prove, you know, just like another way, you know, that also Yahweh was born through Mary and Joseph having sex, okay? Um, you know, there's so many examples out there, you know, um, and in the scriptures, to like, yeah, there's so many examples in the scriptures, you know, that proves that, but you got to be spiritual to actually see that, okay, because there's a lot of things that are hid, you know, and that are, um, you know, basically a mystery in the scriptures, but only, you know, the men that Yahweh Shemesh is dealing with are the ones that are going to actually understand these things, man, okay, now, um, this is the book of Luke chapter 2, verse 21, okay, and it says, and when eight days were accomplished, okay, for the circumcising of the child, the, the circumcising of Yahushai, okay, it says his name was called Yahushai, okay, which was so named of an end of the angel before he was conceived in the womb, okay, and when the days of her purification, according to the law of Moses, were accomplished, they brought him to Jerusalem. To present him to the Lord, okay. So this is Jehovahshai, okay. And when you know on the eighth day, Salakia, and when her Salakia, and when the days of her purification, who Mary, okay, she she kept the law of Moses, you know, concerning, um, you know, if you have a child, you know, what should happen because you know what she was unclean for eight days, okay. Now let me get that, you know, to show you. This is the book of. Um, Book of Leviticus, okay. The book of Leviticus, chapter twelve, verse one. And the Lord spake unto Moses, saying, Speak unto the children of Israel, saying, If a woman have conceived seed, okay, if a woman have conceived seed and born a man child, then she shall be unclean seven days, according to the days of the separation of her infirmity shall she be unclean okay so mary she kept this law but the point here is that if a woman have conceived seed so yahweh came through that you know so the lord yahweh he was born you know through the act of sex man okay because it just said right here man you know and mary she, you know she kept this law because you know what she had to be purified meaning that she had seed inside of her and then that's how yahweh was born man okay and it says, then she shall be unclean seven days, according to the days of the separation of her infirmity shall she be unclean. And in the eighth day, the flesh of the foreskin shall be circumcised. And that's exactly what happened with Yahweh man. Okay? So, that just goes to, you know, prove and to show you that Mary, she had seed inside of her, man. And that's how Yahweh was born. Okay, Joseph and Mary had sex. Okay, now this is the book of Galatians. This is the book of Galatians right here, chapter 4, verse 4. Okay, it says, It says, But when the fullness of the time was come, God sent forth his son made of a woman uh, made under the law. So Yahweh was made under the law, man, which just goes to prove again that Mary she kept that law which goes to show you that she had seed inside of her okay in order for Yahweh to be born man okay 
Mary and Joseph had sex, and that's how Yahweh Shai came in the earth, man. He came in the flesh. Okay? Now, there's another scripture here. Uh, let me find my pocket for man. It's right here. You know, which just goes, you know, to show you even more that, you know what? This is it, man. You know? There's no any other way. You know, it can't be any any more clear, man. Okay? Um... Salakia, yeah, have can bear with me here. Or was it in the wisdom of Solomon? Shit, Satan. Come, this is the book of wisdom of Solomon, chapter 7, verse 1. It says, I myself also am a mortal man. Okay, so that's, you know, he said he was a mortal man. He was in the flesh. You know, that's why he was put to death. And that's how he was put to death, it's because he was in the flesh. Okay, like to all. And the offspring of him that was first made of the earth, okay? And in my mother's womb was fashioned to be flesh. And in the time of ten months, being compacted in blood of the seed of man. And the pleasure that come with sleep. What's the pleasure that comes with sleep, man? That's sex, okay? That's how Yahweh I came in the earth, okay? Of the seed of man. And it says, verse 3, And when I was born, I drew in the common air and fell upon the earth, which is like nature. And the first voice which I uttered was crying, as all others do. I was nursed in swaddling clothes and that with cares. For there is no king that had any other beginning of birth. For all men have one entrance into life and the light going out okay that goes to show you man okay there's no other way there's no other, you know it can't be any more clear that yahweh was born through the act of sex man okay joseph and mary had sex and that's how yahweh came in the earth man okay and you can't you know say anything else man you know and if you do you got to prove it through the scriptures otherwise you're just babbling and you're going off of your own heart man the scripture says that the heart is deceitful above all things man and is desperately wicked okay and if you don't speak you know according to the scriptures there's no light in you so you got to prove you know that you know what um the angels you know um you know um basically had sex with mary man which which is going off because the scripture tells you that the angels you know they need you know they neither marry or are given in marriage man you know you know having sex you know um is basically you know um being in the flesh man you know it's something that you desire when you're in the flesh you know the angels are not in the flesh man they're you know pure energy okay but with that, I want to give all praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bashan, Al Shai, that will honor to the apostles and elders of great Muslim and peace to you, brothers, that are doing this work in sincerity and in truth, Shalom.